So, stolen PS5s are being bricked by Sony. Yeah, that's right. Another reason why to not buy from scalpers, which you shouldn't be doing anyways. Make sure you guys are hitting the thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new. Let me know down in the comment section what topic you want me to cover regarding PS5s and just this whole nonsense in general. Or maybe you want me to cover something else about a PS5. I could do that. Uh, but you should not be buying from scalpers. Just wait. Just wait. Get the PS5 at a normal price, please. PlayStation is bricking consoles that are reported stolen. And they can do that. They can track the consoles with serial numbers from the manufacturers, from the retailers. There's there's electronic trails, electronic paper trails now. It's not the same as it was a long time ago when, you know, if they if you were buying like a PS2 off of uh, somebody who stole it, right? And you didn't know because they couldn't brick the console. They can brick the console. If the serial number on the PlayStation 5 is reported stolen, they're going to prevent that PS5 from ever being used. So what they're doing is that basically when you boot up the PS5, it says you can't, it, it can't access the PlayStation network and it can't access your account at, or any account and you will not be able to use it at all. There's a whole thread on Reddit regarding this. Uh, and, and it's, it's crazy. And this is coming from the previous video that I did where they're stealing, uh, PS5s off of delivery trucks. And this is going on like crazy. I've seen so many reports on stolen PS5s. There's so many news articles out here. I wouldn't even be able to keep, keep up with these. You have, um, you have UK gangs stealing PS5s. Uh, from delivery trucks, you have you have people stealing um, stealing from Amazon. You have stealing uh, people stealing from uh, FedEx. You have this is insane. This is insane. And you know, like they 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 don't have a way to replace these stolen PS fives because there's not enough of them to go around. You know, it, it's a really tough situation. And and the thing is, like, people are actually buying from scalpers. Don't buy from a scalper. You buy from a scalper. You're saying it's okay. Don't do it. Because people are getting concrete blocks. People are getting other things like paper instead or a picture of a PS5. People are getting... Uh, Legit stolen ones and then having their consoles being bricked and then they can't do anything with them because they're bricked. Don't do it, man. Especially at the prices that they're selling them for. It's not worth it. I look, I I love playing on the PS5. It is a lot of fun. It's a fantastic experience, but I would never. If I didn't get my hands on it, I would have waited. I'd just be waiting. I'd be waiting until, you know, I can walk into a store and buy it in a store. Because it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. You know eventually they're going to have PS5s in the store. Just wait for them. Just wait. Or would you rather have a PS5 that doesn't work and then you just spent the money? You know, like, it's it's bad. Yes, there is things like eBay buyer protection, but still... But still, man, then you got to wait. Then you're like your money's tied up for a while until they investigate and do all of that. And it's it's wrong. You shouldn't have to go through all of that hassle. So just don't do it. Don't buy from a scalper. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And let me know what you'd like me to cover in the next video. Until then, I'll see you all real soon.